Hi everyone, this is Dr. Armin Vartani, and you're joining us in our live video streaming that we do every Thursday at uh, uh, at 12, around 12:40, <laughs> and, and um, here at uh, from our office in Burbank, California. And uh, today we're going to talk about laser hair removal and have a demonstration of laser hair removal. We have our nurse Anna here Hello. and our patient, volunteer patient Hello. Danae. Uh, and uh, in a little bit we'll, we'll, we'll treat Danae's uh, legs with the laser. Uh, just a note on an important event that happened in Burbank uh, yesterday, which I want to mention, which is the opening of the IKEA store. Um, uh, this is the largest IKEA store in the nation and opened right here in Burbank down the road from us and uh, I just want to let people know that they may experience a little more traffic because of this largest IKEA store uh, in the area. Uh, but as far as hair removal goes, uh, so we have been doing laser hair removal at our office for the past 18 years, which is about the time that uh, laser hair removal uh, machines uh, became popular. and. Um, uh, we, uh, past 18 years, the machines have uh, improved, have changed, have uh, uh, become uh, faster uh, and safer, but the basis of the laser hair removal technology has been the same, which is um, uh, basically laser is a specialized light uh, that is absorbed only by the black color or the color and anything that's black. So it, uh, in someone who has uh, light skin or fair, fair skin like Danae uh, and has black hair, uh, it burns the hairs but doesn't burn the skin. And uh, the, the reason it reduces the number of uh, hair follicles that are uh, present uh, the, <laughs> the, is, is that the, the heat that is produced in the hair shaft injures the hair follicle and some of the hair follicles get injured uh, and recover. Uh, and get burned, uh, you know, at the subsequent uh, treatments, and some get destroyed and don't produce any hair. Uh, and um, uh, the because of that uh, principle, you know, the skin has to be not tanned, uh, and the hairs have to be short. So we ask patients to shave the night before uh, the treatment, not not pluck or wax any of the hairs because the little hair shaft has to be there uh, to absorb the laser energy. Uh, and so uh, let me just... Uh, uh, Turn it over to some treatment. Yes, right. yes, we could, we could start. Uh, you know, Anna will start the treatment. So uh, yeah, we all have to wear uh, glasses or goggles for protection. Uh, and uh, Danae, while Anna's getting started, can you tell us a little how the treatments feel? In the past, you've had uh, like what, like six treatments? Yeah, I've had about six um, full treatments, but uh, this is a maintenance treatment because my hair is coming back in. It's barely coming back in. It's so fair um, at this point, I can barely see it. And. Um, and this is actually relaxing for me. I know that for a lot of patients, it can be painful the more hair follicles they have because that laser laser is affecting more. Right, it, um, it hurts you know, more when the hairs are thick and... Uh, right, yeah. so for me, uh, this is relaxing. How does I this feel right now? Like a little burst of cool air. I have yeah. absolutely no pain, no discomfort from this whatsoever. Yeah, so as you can see, that little spray is uh, what a uh, little cold spray that's uh, cooling the skin. So the, the surface of the skin, which is also has some pigment, uh, doesn't get burned. And right after the spray, the laser beam uh, is uh, com uh, comes comes out from there and um, basically burns the uh, burns the hairs. Now you said that. The hair does not go away permanently, and I understand that because, again, I am doing maintenance, but it has so significantly been reduced. It's Will those hairs ever come back, or are they gone permanently? I mean, it's, called, it's, it's permanent reduction, so, so, so you'll never, uh, you know, some hairs will always 
uh, come back. So just like you see, you're, you're doing the, the maintenance. You you know you'll have to once in a while, like every six months, uh, uh, come in for treatment like this just to get those. Yeah. So, but yeah, it's not. It's a very good point that it's not a permanent removal of all the hairs. But it's it a is permanent a serious so that, yeah. reduction. Yeah. So what comes serious. back is much uh, thinner and uh, less hair. Yeah, so much less hair. It's amazing. But then you also mentioned that um, I sh that just the first patient, we want them to shave. Now, for me, because I'm doing a maintenance, I wanted the hair to be a little bit grown out so that Anna knew where, the where to even focus. Because with the reduction, I mean, with it being so much less hair, it's, it's invisible. You yeah, because it's it's yeah, so fine. Good. So I guess that really is just determined, Anna. You do that patient by patient, yes. treatment by treatment. Yes, it, it, it's based on uh, every patient is different based on what stage they're in. So, uh, for example, for you, you've done so many sessions that you're doing touch-ups. So at this point, we want you to not shave, so we can see where the hairs are still growing, so we can focus on those hairs. The, we don't need to do a full leg, for example, for you. Um, most commonly, the problem areas are the knees or the, the shins, usually around the bony areas. So we try to see where the thick hairs are so we can burn those roots. Again, it's not permanent hair removal, but it does reduce the amounts of hair that you have. And it does mm -hmm. uh, slow down the growth process. Yeah, I definitely see that. So for somebody new coming in, how often are they going to come in and, and have hair removal? If they're new, uh, for the body, it's six to eight weeks. And for the face, it's four to six weeks. So um, average, it takes about seven to nine sessions. But it's different for everyone. So if you have thicker, darker hair, it's going to be more effective for you. Whereas if somebody has thinner hair or lighter hair, it's going to take more sessions. And just, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but the laser only works when the hair is in the growth phase. So, you know, this every six week or six to eight week method is really trying to catch the hair in that growth phase, yes, right? in the growing phase. Exactly. We're trying to catch it in the active phase. Now, I, for me, I know that you have it on like a super high setting because my skin is like super, super white. It's pretty fair. <laughs> pretty fair. Which is how we want it. No tanning, please. <laughs> yes, no tanning. And that and that's because it picks up on the melanin and can burn the skin, yes. right? Yes. So, so, so <laughs> someone, yeah, someone who is darker, we would do it a little, uh, a, a, a lower, on a lower setting. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's always a chance of the temporary discoloration. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, you know, with the la with the laser. So, uh, in, in especially in darker skin person, you may have, you may get uh, maybe five or ten percent of the time uh, you get temporary discoloration of the skin. But luckily, you know, it, it's always temporary and it goes away. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, we ask that uh, you don't use sunless tanners and you avoid tanning during your treatments. Uh, especially if you are tanning, we ask that you uh, give it a month least for the tan to fade because uh, if you come in with a tan and we laser uh, you might have a risk of burning or possible skin pigmentation. Um, so it's recommended to avoid the sun as much as possible during your treatments. Can you tell me what else we want or need to avoid? What, I mean, what makes a candidate a good candidate? Um, just mainly you avoid the sun, no sunless tanners, make sure you're not plucking or waxing. So if you do wax and you want to come in for a treatment, make sure you don't wax for at least two to four weeks before the treatment. And that's... And, yeah. And also, I wanted to, uh, what, in what areas does it work the best, you know, in your experience? Uh, wherever there's dark, uh, coarse hair. Mainly, I mean, it's different for everyone, but mainly the legs, the underarms, you'll see quick results, the bikini line. Um, wherever you have thick, dark hair, it's going to work pretty well. How about on the face? A lot of people have, like, peach fuzz on yeah, the face. That's that's uh, less effective because the laser doesn't pick up the, the thinner the work, yeah. hairs, so it's not going to pick up the peach. And instead, it actually makes it worse. It does the other, uh, yeah. the opposite reaction. So instead of... Uh, to getting rid of the hairs, it will stimulate other hairs to grow. So you'll start growing thick, dark hairs on your face that you didn't have. Yeah, that's oh, so that's, that's yeah. Okay. So that yeah. really is kind of a 
consultation per patient by per patient yes. depending on their skin and their hair type. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Okay. Um, now I know uh, you've got it on a high setting, but I don't see any red marks. What is typical for a, a reaction from the laser? Well, normally if it's your first session or first few sessions, uh, you might notice some redness and swelling. Um, again, it depends on how sensitive your skin is, but it usually goes away in about a few hours. And uh, we, we recommend putting on aloe vera after your treatments uh, to help with the discomfort. Okay, so... Uh... A lot of our, uh, a lot of the questions that you may have on laser hair removal is, uh, is are answer, are uh, addressed in our on our website, including uh, instructions before, what to do before, what to do after, what to expect after, and uh, also pricing. Uh, uh, so you can visit our website at bartani.com and um, check out the laser hair removal page. Uh, otherwise, thank you very much for joining us, and see you next time.